A community group tasked with recommending changes following a teen's in-custody death just wrapping up its first meeting. It was nearly two hours long. This is Cedric Lofton's dad and brother are also pushing for change. Jessica Watson joins us live from downtown Wichita. Emily, Lofton's family say they are heartbroken. They say every day without him is a challenge. It just hurts, man. It just hurts. Oh, man. We'll miss him. We're going to miss him. When he died, I feel like I died. He was definitely taken way too early, way too early, and it's sad. Lofton's brother says it is his duty to speak for him since he cannot speak for himself. He didn't touch much on the new task force, but they did meet today. The goal of the task force is to review the details of Lofton's case, go through law enforcement and foster care policies, and how they may have played a role. They are also looking into the new, into the use of force with the within the Juvenile Intake and Assessment Center. Some members of the task force are calling for a federal review of the case. I think if we make all of our policy recommendations, but there's no criminal charges for those responsible, it means that this could still happen again. And so I think sending a letter to the DOJ to encourage them to bring forth whatever charges are open to new investigation would be very important to getting justice for CJ specific. And going forward, the task force will be meeting every Monday. They will have about three months before they present their findings to the state, county, and city. Here for you, Jessica Watson, KSN News 3.